Rated M for mature. White wolves turned into the white ass. <laughs> I'd like you got there, haven't you, Yagna? Can't even pull a little slipper out of a pump. And here I swim like a greased minnow. Best in the village. Told you. Look, a lake. I can't remember the last time I had a dip. What are they up to? from the water? An old pot? Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. Tis a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh look, dearie. I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. We'll poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. What's all this, then? <gasps> They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. A man's got to dive in and fish it out. Look, mutations don't just turn them barren as a mule. They give them an ass's ears to boot. <laughs> Must have some other horse part hidden in his trousers. And once I retrieve it? Well, your maid'll be pleased as punch. Or it means you're a gallant bow. And awful handy. Is that all? No prize? Not even a kiss? That depends on the missing question. If she wants to give you a kiss, she will. But she ain't obliged. There's more to come. Prime game. Shani, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. Observe, Shani. My eyes are glued. Seems to think the slipping will be easy, don't he? He talks a big talk. Let's see how big his stroke is. That one's a witch. So what? Witch is famed for shoe fishing skills or something. Lucky that pond sank in up to my armpits. Uh, I see no amount of silt could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes over tossed in the lake. 
Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Well, that's quite the theory. One founded in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers and she will lift up her skirt and bend over. To don it, of course. Ah, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out? Hmm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Mm-hmm. Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is, on. Uh, thank you. Ah, my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> in my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. <laughs> faster, faster <laughs> till we expire. <laughs> <laughs> treat for our special guests, the witcher Geralt and his enchanting partner, Shani. Musicians, something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for our loving embrace. Come, Shani, it's time you discovered my romantic side. A chair could dance a jig with you as its partner. Oh, how humble you are. I strive to be. Yet should the need arise, I can strut as proud as any peacock. Oh, perfect combination. Women must love you. Well, not to brag, but... Call it idle curiosity, but how many have you had? Many, and not a scrub hag among them, I should add. Women with true class, all, though none to match your charms. Seems the music and the evening draw to a close. Know how a true dancer thanks his lovely partner. Um, not sure I do. <sighs> what are you doing? Have you lost your mind? I have my mind, my heart. We must agree. You can say whatever you please, but you should keep your hands to yourself. Understood? Don't be upset, my peach. I couldn't resist. I'm not upset. Just... next time, don't lunge at me like that. I'd had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, next time, I shall ask. Shani. May I kiss you? <laughs> You're incorrigible. 
Could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a drip. Please. <sighs> Very well. See how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. Geralt, I'm curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. Don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Well, I probably wouldn't have forced myself on you. Forced myself? It was an innocent kiss, not more. <laughs> I don't know if I should thank you or if that should make me... angry. But don't get me wrong. I've thought about doing just that a few times, but... But what? But I'm not going to talk about it with him here. We can discuss it once he's gone. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Perhaps a bit of thanks is in order. It seems I've snared the little Robin for you. You can shut up now. What's going on now? Nothing. Never mind. Happened to see the man who announced our... your song? Yes. He acted as though he knew me. But we've never met. I was surprised. Who is he? Gontor Odin, Master Mirror. Wonder what he's doing here. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah, he didn't show up without a reason. Need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped in on a whim. Promise you this much. He never does anything simply. And certainly not on a whim. Bah! <sighs> I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes, listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Ah, better. Come, Shani. The night beckons us not to jabber it away. The night is young. Come, let's do something wild. Our gingerbread's an out but flour, honey, eggs and spices. I beg to differ, madame. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. What sort of balderdash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. For so how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time, you touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it even. Time. Time is the key. Greetings, Shani. I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. I seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother. That you envied all gear from your earliest days, and always wished to be just like you. Wait. You can see me? That is, me, Vladimir von Everek? Of course. Why ever wouldn't I? Because I'm in Geralt's body, the Witcher's, and... Just who would I be if the true nature of things remained hidden from me? Someone like you, meaning no one. I wouldn't want to get blood on my damsel's dress, but insult me once more and... You shan't touch me. 
I know you'd very much like to act like your brother in this situation, demonstrate how manly you are, but let's be honest, nothing will come of it. You're simply not him, no matter how much you wish you were. Rubbish. I never envied my brother. Of course you did. He was a shining role model. Olgierd ran faster, shot truer, lifted greater weights. Olgierd learned to read first, although you tried your damnedest to beat him. As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you made do with the leftovers. I apologize, Shani. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Shani isn't here for you. She's here for Geralt. Even after death, you still play the pain invitation. Oh, by the way, Olgierd's a much better dancer. You lying dog. That's my brother. I loved him. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it, I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me, cornered me like a rat. But Olgierd told everyone I flew at all five, took them on all at once, alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgierd visits my grave, often, pours a drink for me, gets soused himself, and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Ooh. Well, perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. Shani, I'm sorry, I... It's all right. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. All lies. Not a word of truth. Don't let it bother you. Geard was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. Let it go. I believe you. And now, rub along. Time won't wait. Refugees escaping hell. If I may, Shani, I'd show you how I cut a jig. Nimble as a leper. Don't let me stop you. Sir Dwarves, may your beards grow long, but never tangle round your ankles. To the young lovers, may their loins never cool. May they sire many a bear, and reap gobs of coin. Shani, the ladder begs us to scamper to its top, where we can converse. Uh, then let us scamper. But how so? Just like that? <laughs> there aren't that many ways to scale the ladder.
just as I thought. Come, it's time we return. But what's just as you thought? I find you intimidating. <laughs> Loudly lowing cows only ever give a little more. I've only ever dealt with simple maids, whereas you're a surgeon. I believe I was right not to just take you and... Well, I was right to take the more romantic approach. <laughs> oh, all right. Now come, we were to enjoy ourselves. Let's do just that. Romantic. <laughs> oh, I'd gladly take that little ass for a romp. So, if he arrived, why is he not here now? The bloody dog chased him away. Two of them. None of Hideous mutt. Oh, no, brother. Means we're missing a fire he's 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 a, a missing hound, it seems. Perhaps we can be of service. My first witcherly investigation of Goose Pimples. <laughs> Do you need help? Shani, darling, oh, you shan't believe what's happened. I'm marrying off my only daughter. Wanted a proper wedding for her. Wild revelry. So I hired a true fire eater. You know, who scope, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, I've not seen that sort of trickery. Horribly dear. Diversions of that sort. He journeyed here from Novigrad. But I'll not squeeze coppers on my daughter, oh no. The groom's family have us for paupers. We'll show them how wrong they are. Seems we won't, in fact, for our fire swallowers as gone as last Yule's pudding. Groom's hound chased him off. That blasted demon. Ugh, they sure named it right. Calm yourself, Dumpling. Master Witcher's here now. Perhaps he can aid us. How? Oh, the man's got ass ears. It's a first seat to help himself. Such ears might be high fashion in his part. Oh, I doubt that. Before I can begin my witcherly investigation, I require guidance, clues. Tell me all you know, everything. Well, the fire eater arrived around noon. It is fill of food, not fire. They went for a stroll to air some gases, he said. That horror demon saw him and started barking like a thing possessed. Why so? Haven't a clue. Didn't like the man, sent something awry. Perhaps that the man swallowed fire. Animals fear fire. If I feared, it would have fled, not given chase. Damn fool dog. How can you know? But it snapped its chain and chased the fire eater into the woods. Foolish or not, it's our son-in-law's beloved pet. There'll be hell to pay if it goes missing. You needn't worry. The Witcher, that is, I, will find this swallower of heated things. Oh, mighty generous offer, but no one knows where to look. Matters not. Witchers, that is, we have our ways. The Flame Gulper, what did he look like? He wore a jester's cap. Typical sort. Ought to be enough to identify him. I shall find him. We thank you, and hope for the best. Uh, awfully nice of you to offer your help, but are you sure you're up to it? You're not actually a witcher, Vlad. I wish to find this magician. Give it a go, all right? But you cannot help me. I must do it alone. I expect it will be great fun. Ah, <sighs> fine. Don't have to do this, but if I were you, I'd find the dog's tracks, follow its trail. Just a thought. Excellent advice! I'll take it! Shani, Vladimir and I need to find the Fire Eater. If we're not back by midnight, then... Relax. We'll be back in no time. I believe in you. Tally-ho. Adventure awaits.
Giant so coin, all for naught. I do hope the mutant can find the fire eater. And I hope he finds a demon. A quarrel with the in laws. The fire eater is a decent family. The family that throws a proper wedding can afford it. Stop your grieving. Mutant like that's made to hunt beasts. Track down the missing. He'll dig him up. I've got a monster under my bed. Will you help? The hound tore its chain off the wall. Underfed, it seems. Or else the ash liquor really boiled the mud's blood. A bone nod so clean, I've only ever seen two like this. One in an antel, the other when I caught a hen after not eating for a week. Its bowl is chipped. Tried to devour its bowl along with its supper. Daft mutt. A dog made these tracks true, but a small one. Yet judging by its house, Demon is a hulk, but beggars can't choose their tracks. So I shall follow these. Following some dog's trail? Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. Think I'll wait here. Wonderful, my juicy pair. I shall continue my travails while you rest. Shan't be long now. How goes the search? No discoveries of note as yet, but I shan't give up. This Witcher work suits me swimmingly. A broken branch. As if one too heavy sought to scamper up this tree. Seems our fire eater swallows a great deal more than fire. Or perhaps someone was merely gathering kindling. Ah, there is joy in this ferreting. Spitter's cap if ever I've seen one. As jesterly as they come, chap must have lost it running from demon. Two conclusions then. Our magician is fat and a coward. Missing man, missing mutt. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. Guess so. You, get down. Oh no, no bloody chance. I value my life. What do we do? Sit. Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground, that sort of sport. No. Oh, could you be any more of a bore? I'll do it myself. Roll over. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Demon, doghouse now. Now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun! Have it at the wedding. Climb down. 
Man-eating beasts gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Geralt, this jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Course. Bottoms up. I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Fine mead, true. But I was fleeing a hound. Hound? But it, it was a monster. A, a furry, faggy devil. They chose a fitting name for it. Those are excellent ears. Might try a pair like that. Just not sure they'd fit under my cap. Your cap, sir. Lost it running from that pup like a gutless coward. Ah, oh, my dearest cap. Always brought me good luck it has. I'll wear it for every performance. You're a man whose trade is literally to play with fire. How can you fear a tiny runt of a dog? Was a monster! A demon! So you said. You're a stoneless coward, sir. That's that. Oh, beg your pardon. I'm not a coward. I'm cautious. Know what would become of a fiery who paid no heed to caution? Hmm, I suppose he might singe his tongue. Guessed it. So it was that misunderstanding. You can forget about performing in your state. And just what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp. You can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. Standing straight ain't a requirement. Oh, you shan't pull the wool over my eyes. I know your type. Now, here's the plan. We shall head down this path till we arrive at the wedding. You'll have sobered by then. But... Silence. Do you know me, sir? When a nobleman speaks, you listen. You will stay close at my side. We will return to the wedding, where you will put on a show to make our honored guests soil their breeches from joy. Got it? Y yes Good. Then let's be off. Keep calm. Stay close. I shan't say a step. Wild animals behind every stump in these woods. Hi, blind fool. Save me! Tell me, are bears often boar-shaped in your experience? Got weak eyes, see? Besides, I'm a fire-eater, not some damn naturalist. Indeed you are not, Master. I uh, believe I failed to ask. What do they call you? David Altonsborough. Listen here, Master Hattonsborough. Stay close, and no harm will come to you. I'll see to it your drunken, fire-spitting gob gets to the wedding safe and sound. The missing fire blower is missing no more. It was my doing, if I may say so myself. And Demon? 
What's with him? He failed to return. No, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a carrot. Might have eaten some nightshade or whatnot. Your attention, please! I invite all to witness the spectacle unrivaled. A man so bold as to eat fire! We must watch the trickery. Never saw anything like it while alive. <laughs> your contract. Done. Fire eater found, his ass saved. If I could live again, I'd be a witcher for damn certain. I shall do the impossible. I shall breathe fire. Mark this day, good folks. For your eyes will not witness a feat so daring any time soon. <laughs> Found yourself a perch from which to survey passing bows? What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn, so I'm having a... And they said fire burns hotter in an old stove. If I was your age, you'd be singing a different tune. Have you squealing like a kitty cat? Look at the fools falling over themselves to catch a painted oh, pig. Please be no. no wedding garb with muck. Look, look. Where are you going? What sport is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned king of the swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady, maybe. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose? Nay, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. King of the swineherds, eh? And what's this king get exactly? A king's ransom, I would hope. No coin. Honor's the prize. King gets a crown of laurels he pins to his saddle, rides about with pride that he's king of the swineherds. You mentioned some trifles for the lasses. Are they worthwhile at least? For certain! Lovely, every last one. Pretty as a painting. Win and see for yourself. Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored. A witcher with ass ears chasing swine. <laughs> Better than a goddamn circus. What's that you say, peasant? Me? Uh, nothing. Good. Keep it that way. Get that cripple out of there! <coughs> Could chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run. There's no painter here. It's a moment worth immortalizing for posterity. Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. Come on, Piggy. Got a nice and cozy pen for you.
You see that, Shawnee? One pig penned. Peasants, learned a lesson from your better? Are the pigs penned? Indeed they are. Master Witcher, we ain't seen such pig chasing skill in a long time. Your family had an ample pen, didn't they? Go on, admit it. My family had many pens, but that in no way means I had any practice chasing pigs. However it were, the crown's going to a good man. And the king's chosen maid deserves a fitting favour. Yeah. Just don't go hiding it in some pouch. Brandish it on your horse so that all folk may see. What do you say to that, Shani? Ever witnessed such agility? <laughs> You're clearly a natural at chasing pigs through muck. You were a joy to watch. Does my heart's captor like the uh, prize I won for her? The rag stuffed piggy? <laughs> it's lovely, truly. I've always dreamed of owning one. Mm, tell me, Shani, what's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl, that's clear. In Geralt's name and flesh, of course. But still, yet the more I woo you, the less you seem ready to succumb. So I ask myself, what am I missing? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one. With the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everek does his thing. Now, who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. <laughs> An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. Did it hurt terribly, my sweet? What? When you fell from the heavens. <laughs> Why, sir? <laughs> Shh, my dear. No more words. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? But really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? Then how... <laughs> in Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kovir as well? Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be made clear. Leslie, step away from the man. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers, and we swore to our down his dying day we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. Easy, lads. No harm done. An innocent conversation with an innocent miss. The kind weddings are for. We all heard your innocent talk. Wanted to draw her to the barn. What were you gonna do there? Talk some more? Naturally, we would speak. But first, we would dance. Now tell me, what sort of fool wouldn't want to dance with a beauty like her? Find another beauty, or I'll dance with you myself. Just after I grab me a face post. Geralt, you saw it. I tried to resolve this peacefully, but they wish to fight. Suits me just fine. Sounds like wonderful fun. Fence boards right over there for the taking. Fear eat your stones. 
That's the last plowing straw. No one accuses Vladimir von Everick of cowardice. Calm down, boys. Don't want to fight you. Too damn bad, because we're going to tan your mutant freak hide. That does it! Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. Fence boards. The perfect weapon for sweaty ass swineherds. Perfect fit for your job, you plowing gentle fuck. Never in my life have I reveled so fiercely. Step up. Who else wants a shave? Damned cretin creamed me. Embarrassing to take a licking from a boar. And with a maiden watching. Enough peasant spawn. Got yourself a match for a Von Everett. A witcher. Away with you. Be gone. I've tired of looking at your slack jawed yaps. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Don't. You must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh, all right. <sighs> Your methods... Quite unusual. To woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. My dear girl, what don't I have up my sleeve? I'd gladly demonstrate. Perhaps behind the barn? Uh, I think you've demonstrated enough. Let's just enjoy ourselves, all right? You don't have all that much time left. Your wish is my command, milady. I'd never deny a maid so fair-featured. Off we go. So good to shake the kinks from one's bones. We must find more, more fun.